The belief in a single truth is the root cause of all evil in the world. All attempts to adapt our ethical code to our situation in the technological age have failed. We need to make a world in which fewer children are born and in which we take better care of them. Science is so greatly opposed to history and tradition that it cannot be absorbed by our civilization. It is true that many scientists are not philosophically minded and have hitherto shown much skill and ingenuity, but little wisdom. Those who say that the study of science makes a man an atheist must be rather silly people. The belief that there is only one truth and that oneself is in possession of it seems to me the root of all the evil that is in the world. I am now convinced that theoretical physics is actual philosophy. Einstein would be one of the greatest theoretical physicists of all time, even if he had not written a single line on relativity. My advice to those who wish to learn the art of scientific prophecy is not to rely on abstract reason, but to decipher the secret language of nature from nature's documents, the facts of experience. For all the communities available to us, there is not one would want to devote myself to. Except for the Society of the True Searchers, which has very few living members at any time. Intellect distinguishes between the possible and the impossible. Reason distinguishes between the sensible and the senseless. Even the possible can be senseless. We have sought for firm ground and found none. The deeper we penetrate, the more restless becomes the universe. All is rushing about and vibrating in a wild dance. If God has made the world a perfect mechanism, he has at least conceded so much to our imperfect intellect that in order to predict little parts of it, we need not solve innumerable differential equations, but can use dice with fair success. No language which lends itself to visualizability can describe quantum jumps.